really good perspective there. Can you give us an idea of where you were? Like, what were you going to do at, 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 in terms of the Olympics? Had, had everything already been set in terms of qualifications? Where were you guys in the calendar of swimming? I mean, we're still a few months away, obviously, from that. So uh, were you guaranteed to, to do certain events? Um, did you still have to qualify? Give us a little update on that from a layman's terms uh, perspective for our listeners. Yeah, yeah. So we were really in the heart of our of our training season. Uh, the actual qualification for the Olympic Games is uh, or, or was at the end of June. And if you were top two there in your event, you you, you had like a week at home, and then you're going to be off to the Olympics. So it was uh, the USA Swimming schedules everything pretty close to the Olympics, and so it's really kind of a whirlwind. Um, so, so that's where we were at. Nothing was guaranteed, but I was definitely like, I, I definitely felt really good. Uh, I feel like I was on the right path and, and definitely heading in, in the right direction to have a really good Olympic trial and Olympic performance. What's your day like now in terms of training? I mean, that doesn't stop and you find a place to be able to do that, uh, whether it's uh, in the pool or out of the pool. Uh, I think Austin kind of said, do you scale back a little bit? But um, where are you at on that? How much are you swimming a day? Yeah. So, so honestly now, I mean, that the, the Olympic decision was, was kind of the end of my season that, that was, that was closure on, on that season. And so now I've got a week or two off. So, so I'm kind of just honestly chilling, like chilling more than, than I, than I ever do. So, so it's, it's nice. Like I get to totally relax. Um, I, I've been on the phone a bunch with, with friends, uh, people on the national team, family. And, and so this is a, this is a cool time. Like it, there's, I feel a really strong sense of community. Uh, everyone's, everyone's making a sacrifice in, in some sort of way. And I mean, it's cool to hear how, how everyone's dealing with it. So it is, it's a really relaxing time for me. And I, I feel like I'm, I'm learning a ton about myself and, and others in this time. How good, uh, you know, we always talk about how good you guys are, you know, Dressel and yourself and, and others who have come before uh, from this area, but Right now, how good is is U.S. swimming? Uh, is is it, it as great as it felt in 16? I mean, you have super talent coming up, names we haven't heard about. Uh, what does the landscape of U.S. swimming look like? Yeah, I think it's I think it's a cool time for in, for USA swimming because there was definitely a changing of the guard after 2016. I mean, in 2016, you still had the Michael Phelps, you, Ryan Lochte, um, Colin Jones. You know, you, you had that the people that have been on the team since 2008. And after 2016, that was that was a real changing of the guard, and and I feel lucky that that I was able to have a couple years with, with guys like Phelps uh, and and be on a couple teams with Lochte. But now it, it's younger, you know. Like we've got our core group is really guys that are just specifically to the men's side. It, it's guys that are really ages 23 to 25, and and that's cool. We're we're all similar age. We all know each other super well. Super good friends. So it, it's cool. We're, we're in a really good spot. And, and this is really, I feel like, the, the prime of our career. Uh, so it, it's, definitely, it's definitely a cool time for, for USA Swimming. Ryan, in terms of your training, you said you take a little time off now, obviously, but when you get back in the groove of things and, you know, we don't know what's going to be happening the next couple of weeks with everything going on with the coronavirus. I mean, do you have all the tools to kind of train on your by yourself or do you, will you stay like the Olympic Training Center? Like, how is that going to go? Yeah, I mean, I mean, figuring out water time is going to be definitely a challenge. Um, but but in terms of stuff outside of the water, like that's that's not super challenging for us to to find. So well, Ryan, and let's not sell yourself short here, man. I mean, you have gold medals. Just wear a gold medal around your neck <laughs> and walk into any local YMCA and say, "Hey, I have to use the pool." Those <laughs> open, and, and, and they should abide by your by your request. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I'll take your advice. We'll we'll see if it comes to that. But <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, I'm prepped. I'm, I'm prepped. Like the other day, I was before this Olympic decision came down, we were we didn't have a gym to work out in. And so like I was, I was literally doing pull-ups on a tree and, and like I was, I was doing, pushing my car around, like put the car in neutral and pushing my car around to, to get it. Some- style. I like it. Yeah. So, I mean, it's cool. Like you, this is a, this is an interesting time. You can get really creative with what you're doing. Um, and you know, work your muscles in a little bit of a different way. Get, get yourself out of the monotony of, you know, just lifting, lifting stuff up and down. You, you could, you could get creative you use nature and and maybe i mean maybe probably a lot of people are going to be getting a lot more aerobically fit in this time because you could still out go, go outside you could still run around so uh i mean that that might be something that i pick up as well 
Yeah, I can't believe how many people are out in the neighborhood walking and running. It's just absolutely amazing. I've met more. I've met neighbors like I didn't even know they existed. Every time my wife's walking with me, said, "Hey, Steph. Hey, Steph. Who's that guy with you?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's never happened before. So uh, meeting a lot of new people, which is uh, very nice uh, down in our area. All right, I feel like Phelps made like eating you know, kind of a thing with swimmers, mm -hmm. you know, it was a while ago now, right? Because everybody was counting like his calories and he, he shared that story. And we might have asked you this like in the fall, but mm -hmm. I, I'm going to ask you it again anyway, because, uh, well, Austin lost a bet to me recently and <laughs> it, it, Tom Brady left the Patriots. So he has to now drink this shake and we might even do it next week. And it was a shake that a guy ate at the combine uh, to get ready and put on a ton of weight. Oh, I think I read about that. That yeah, was like, like, like eight eggs or something in there, right? Oh, scrambled eggs, though, yeah, right? It wasn't even scrambled raw. Scrambled eggs, yeah. and grits, Gatorade, Gatorade, peanut butter, sugar and put overload. It in a blender. Oh, man. So what – I mean, how – is the Phelps stuff like real deal? Like are, are, do you do that too? Do you eat like a million eggs a day and like, like 20,000 calories a day? Or I know I'm exaggerating, but yeah. what do you mean? I, honestly, I mean – I don't want to tell you what my diet has been the past couple of days. Now that I'm, uh, that, now that I'm kind of like my my off season, I've been tanking like 20 cookies a day. But uh, <laughs> normally, Gosh. normally uh, I'm pretty strict, you know. Like so, I'm I'm looking to get in. I mean, probably like 4,000 calories a day, um, and just kind of spreading that out throughout the day. So so nothing nothing too crazy. Like swimmers, we got to stay relatively lean. Um, and so like, that's, that's a challenge for me. Like my, my dad was a football player. Like he, he was offensive line. He played both ways. So he was offensive line, defensive line. Um, and so like that, those are kind of the genetics I'm working with. And, and so it's, it's definitely a challenge for me to, to keep the weight off. Ryan, give me three exercises that can maximize your swimming potential. Ooh, maximize swimming potential. Okay. So I would say. I mean, swimmers have huge shoulders, so I would say like shoulder press okay. would be one. Um, abs, so like I would say something like, uh, do you know what a hollow hold is? I do, yeah. G gymnasts do it all the time. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so uh, I would say hollow hey, hold for that. that one. Maybe you know it, Austin. You're like fight I'll MMA, do and you're and you're doing I can like do it NFL right stuff. now. I'll do it right now for you. All right, it's on the video stream, so you can do this hollow hold. Okay, yeah. almost like. Say, I guess, I guess for the last one, oh, I got. Ooh, for the last one, I guess it would be, uh, I mean, why not say like squat jumps that, that I feel like that's a pretty like all purpose leg exercise. Uh, awesome. I'm feeling pretty yeah. confident right now, but I could be a swimmer. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, I can't really swim. So yeah, yeah <laughs> that's can. also a problem. All right. Hey, we're going to leave you with this. And I appreciate you jumping out. Ryan Murphy uh, from the bowl school, Jacksonville guy, uh, Cal Berkeley and training out West and, and kind enough to join us uh, and talk a little bit about the Olympic games being postponed to 2021. And we, we hope he has a, a fantastic games in, in a year and a half from now and everything goes well. Uh, but you're a big Jags fan. I know you, you got to show those gold medals uh, last fall and, and bring them to Jacksonville. I think it was last fall. My, my yeah. calendar might be off, but uh uh, what do you think about Minshew, man? Uh, Foles being traded, some of the moves being made, and and pretty much the, the organization saying, "Hey, we're riding with Minshew in 2020." You like it? Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, I do. I, I feel like it, the the Foles move was always a little bit interesting for me because I felt like we were, I felt like the rest of the team was kind of in a rebuild, especially when we traded Ramsey. I was like, I was like, what, like, what are we doing? And and with all the other moves they made before that, this this off season, like. I feel like it had to be done. Like we were, we were definitely trending younger and younger, and uh, and, and it's time to it's time to commit to that. And if, if it blows up, like I, I'm I'm optimistic. I think Minshew's good, especially like given our personnel. If it blows up, then we're then we're in the running for Trevor Lawrence, and, and like that's that's definitely not a bad thing. That's a pretty good consolation prize. Uh, hey, love talking football, swimming, and everything else. Glad you're doing well out there, man. Thanks for taking a few minutes. Uh, hope you enjoy the weekend and give uh, give uh, our best to the family. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Thank you, thank you guys for having me again. You bet. Uh, we'll do it again soon. Ryan Murphy from the Bowl School, three-time gold medalist mm. uh, from right here in Jacksonville. I